everybody. You like my hat? I think it looks cool. I have a Burberry scarf on. Tonight we're going to talk about the broken heart syndrome. This is some serious stuff. It is a real medical thing when you have lost someone that you love or you're going through a divorce or a breakup. Uh, it is a medical issue, definitely. I went through it for three months, maybe for three months. I was so upset. It was like a knife was in my heart. It felt like I wish somebody would take it out and relieve the pain. I wanted to go to the hospital because there was times where I really thought I was having a heart attack. And it hurt. My heart actually hurt. You know, and I've, I've talked to other people who uh, have had the same phenomenon. I guess I said that right. You are under so much stress you can't think about anything except what happened whether it's um, the loss in your life you are so hyper focused on that that you can't do anything you, you, you're like incapa incapacitated it is uh, you're afraid to do anything or exert yourself because you really think you're gonna have a heart attack I know uh, I think one of my aunts actually went to the hospital and they said I think she'd lost her mom and the doctor said that's what it is you know so keep that in mind when you are going through a very difficult time with the loss of a lover or a mom or dad or child it is serious I mean um, I don't know if there's anything they can do for you I don't know but anybody who's going through this, I have great empathy because I know what it's like. I really do. And there are some times where you don't want to go on, but it is crucial that you go on for other people in your life. It's not all about you, you know. I, I can name like maybe five people in, in my immediate family who have been uh, suicidal. You know, mental health is very, very important. And uh, um, like I said, broken heart syndrome is not good.